It's a really, really quick and dirty test that I'm doing. This is a bat cell. It is connected with a uh, soldering iron, uh, cable. This is not a uh, fuse wire or anything. It's just soldering. So it's meant to melt uh, on when the temperature rises. It's not even hot. All these cells, we got 14 cells. They're being tested. They weigh over 1,900 uh, milliamp. The rated amperage that could come on out of any of those cells is past the 2 amps all the way up to 10 amps. So that's the range. So in theory, we should, we should be having at least 20 to 30 amps coming out of this dumping the energy to this one. Right now the voltage it's 3.7 it's been dropping constantly because it's trying to balance everything. Uh, and I'm testing the voltage from here and that's my ground but take a look at this. This is the voltage on my pack on the healthy pack. When I go over here that's the voltage so it means that this battery is actually recharging and I'm touching it it's not even hot or warm and everything is more than okay uh, so the reason I do this test is that I've been struggling with the idea of fusing the battery packs versus just spot welding them and after seeing a bunch of videos, especially from Average Joe, it looks like it makes no sense. Especially since I'm building such a small pack. And this is at this cell, it's at, let me just show you. So this is the battery that I was just testing right here. As you can see, it's super corroded. And if I don't know if you can see it, but on the, the package, it, this this battery is damaged. When I pick it up from my junk packs, uh, my junk uh, box, I, this is the cells that I just, I throw a bunch of cells over here. These cells are the ones that are not uh, good. They're just either under voltage or just, um, they're just crap, right? So, like I said, I was struggling with the idea of should I just spot weld on them or just use fuse wire? What, what should I do? And this this little thing right here, just to show you that it's actually working, that this is not a gimmick. I'm actually just shorting it out. Take a look at that. You see how, how flimsy it became? It got so hot that it actually bent. It is not doing it with this one. So basically, it's not, quote unquote, dumping all the energy to it. It's just passing energy to it. And for some reason, the resistance inside here, it's high enough to actually prevent all the energy to come rushing in. And, you know, so anyway, this is my two cents about spot welding and fuse wiring. And I will try to do my best to, to keep on testing this. I just got 14 batteries over here. Because that's going to be my package. It's going to be uh, 7S, 14, 15P. So in theory, this will be my 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 15 uh, cell. So anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think about it. And I'm more than happy to open the discussion. I know this has been tested before in other channels. Especially the average Joe videos he did a bunch of tests on fuse wiring and after seeing that you know what I'm just spot welding them they look nicer and if you do the extra layers of bottom balancing make sure that they are equal I don't think there's gonna be a problem uh you know anyway just let me know God bless you bye